All right, we're now in Epcot. So yeah, what way are we gonna start? We're trying to decide which way we wanna go around the world to get our food. There's so many different things. When we were walking around the other day, we had our reservation at the Annapolis and we were just like walking through and everything just smelled so good and it looked so good. We were reading some of the menus. So we're not sure where we wanna start, but hmm, we'll see. <laughs> First time I noticed this that this guy they actually have spike is on this banner I don't think any of the other ones are like that oh my gosh <laughs> I've seen that same the tomato print before and I did not notice the spike yeah look none of the other ones have it oh that's pretty neat I feel like I discovered something very important <laughs> I wonder if that's if you get the map if that's actually like one of the ones that you have to try to find if it's on there well I just found him. The mime guy is out. I don't. I heard the tomato tart is really good. A lot of people, a lot of people were posting about that. It was excellent. It was really kind of different. Yeah. Oh. So we're checking out all the different booths and so many things look good but they were all like dessert type things that really look good to us over there so we're like okay we need like food food right now and we're all starving okay we can't we can't like jump in on desserts we're like we need actual like savory before we go the dessert route but there is a lot of things and here they are home to the frushi here in japan which is incredible it's like it is fruit sushi and the rice is actually like a coconut rice so it's really sweet it is one of the best things you'll ever have i'm looking forward to coming back here and having that very soon <laughs> You can see they have the smoker out here. This is in America, the Smokehouse Barbecue and Brews. That pulled pig slider sounds really good, but we've also heard great things about the um, burnt ends. All right, so we did end up going with something from the Smokehouse. We got, this is the beef, what is it called again? It's the beef brisket, uh, burnt ends hash with uh, pickled jalapenos and uh, cheese a cheese fondue, fondue. Cheese yeah. Fondue. That's what I'm most excited about is the cheese fondue. That sounds good. <laughs> because I didn't like the fondue the one time from like the cheese studio, because I don't know, I love cheese, but for some reason I didn't like that fondue. But I have a feeling when it's mixed in with all this stuff, it, it just looks really good. So well, let's dig in and we'll tell you what we think. All right, so my review on the Burnt Ends hash, I really enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it was like my favorite item that we've had like in the festivals the years past. This is the first one of this year, but I mean, I would get it again, like if we were all sharing it, definitely. Yeah, the I burnt think ends are good. The burnt ends were good. It was, the cheese it was a little bit good. spicy. The cheese sauce, I was actually wishing there was even a little more cheese sauce on there because like that made it, I thought it was really good. Um, we didn't do the jalapeno. We left those off to the side because yeah, it was already pretty spicy as is. But like I overall <laughs> enjoyed it. I think it was good. The beef was, I mean, excellent. Those burnt ends, um, really flavorful, very tender. It was great. So, should we do a rating scale on a scale of one to five? Mm, I don't know. I'll give it um, three. Three? I was kind of thinking the same thing. I think I'm going to go with three because there's always room to improve. Dad just said the same thing. Three. Yep. So, I think it was a good start to the festival, and now we're going to go find some more food somewhere. <laughs> Oh, it smells really good right now. We just passed the caramel shop. It smells like caramel corn. <laughs> but yeah, we still are in the hunt for, we need more savory items before we can switch into dessert mode. So let's see, this is here in Germany. I don't even know how do you pronounce this? The Bur the Buruma Market? I don't know. <laughs> Bur Bur Mark? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go look at the foods and see if we want any of the foods. 
Yeah, here you can see the pictures. So there's the potato pancake. I think we got that the one year. And um, it wasn't like our favorite thing, but it looks like it's much more doctored up now. It has like the sour cream on it and everything. This, I heard, is good. The toasted pretzel bread. And it has like cheese and what else does it have on it? Black forest ham. And then there's a warm um, cheese strudel. Yes, I think we're gonna keep that in mind. We're gonna keep making our trek around the world. Okay, so they have this little booth here. This isn't really part of the Flower and Garden Festival. This is while Anna's birthday cake. Oh. Yeah, so the Norway bakery in there is actually under construction, so they've moved it out here temporarily. And this is where you can get the school bread, which everybody loves. School bread is amazing. Yeah, I was actually looking at that right over, somebody had it over there, the Viking dog. Hmm. So here we're in Mexico now. I think me and my mom are gonna try the pork taco. We're gonna split that. Cause yeah, that sounds really good. It has um, an apple relish, which sounds very interesting. All right, so here we go. This is the pork taco and it had goat cheese and then the apple relish. And there was some type of pepper type thing on there as well. Chili something. Okay. Chili sauce. It looks good. The meat looks very tender. Okay, let's try it out. And we have more Disney duck friends here by our table. It's nice and quiet today in the park. Like I'm noticing there's a lot more spaces like when we wanted to like come have this right now. There's a lot of open tables and everything. So that makes it very nice. Okay, so that was so good. We've always tried every year, both at the Flower and Garden Festival and the Food and Wine Festival, they always do some form of a taco here in Mexico. Sometimes it's been shrimp, sometimes it's been pork. But um, this one, oh my gosh, it was, I think this might've been my new favorite variation. It was so good, it was so tender. And the apple chutney, it just gave it like this sweetness to it and the goat cheese. I think this is definitely my new favorite variation. It's not a flower here. Instead of the corn, the lettuce. Yes, that was not that good. It was bad if you Yes, I'm happy they went back, switched back to the flour tortilla. It definitely makes it a lot better. It doesn't have that, that corn one kind of has like a weird kind of texture to it. But oh my gosh, that was so delicious. Now we're gonna move on and go get some more food. That's the nice thing about sharing the portions here. That way you get to try more things, a little bit of everything around the world. All right, let's keep on going. And here the ducks are, the ducks are hanging out. <laughs> I love it. This is this adorable shirt for Flower Garden Festival. I love the color of it, just like that mint teal color. And then here is the spirit jersey for Flower and Garden this year. It's the first time they've ever done a spirit jersey for the festival. It's really cute and it says natural beauty on the back and has a little mini mouse. We're now over here at La Isla Fresca. We were all looking at this, the sugar cane shrimp skewer. That sounds really good. Oh, it's got the coconut lime sauce. Wow. Maybe I'll take one of those. <laughs> we also were looking at that conch salad is here too. You want to try the, the shrimp this time? Yeah, let's do the shrimp. Okay. okay. That's our plan. I really like the theme this year that they went with out front of the butterflies. It's very springtime. It's cute. Oh, and I just realized here's another one of those little spikes. It's cool because yeah, not every, I've been now paying attention as we go around the world, not every single one has this. This is only the second one I've seen that features spike on it. So that's cute. Ooh. This is the best view, look at this. It's flower and garden and this is the background. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, so here, this is the shrimp, which is the sugar caned shrimp, and it has a lime, um, coconut, lime. coconut lime sauce is what's on it. And then, Dad, what'd you get over here? It's a Jamaican, Jamaican beef. Jamaican beef. Braised beef with pigeon peas and rice, rice and micro cilantro. Nice. Okay, let's try these out. So I mango. really enjoy this shrimp it was we were definitely it was not what we were expecting but like we really liked it i think it was just like the name the fact that it's called like sugar cane shrimp we were expecting it to be kind of i think i was thinking in my head it was going to be kind of like a coconut shrimp that kind of texture or that taste to it but it was actually more on the savory side you definitely got the lime um 
it was just very good. It yeah, was good. it had a good, I liked the sauce on it. The shrimp were done really well. And even this rice, I was really enjoying this. This was a, is it coconut rice, I think? It's a coconut lime yeah, it's sauce. Yeah, it's a coconut, yeah. Oh, coconut lime sauce. Yeah. Thing. Is it any type of special rice, though? I don't know. No, it's just steam. Just steam rice. And Dad, what'd you think of your? It was excellent. It was good? Yeah, here, let me try a bite of that. Yeah, I really like the beef as well. That is very good. But yeah, the shrimp was, I think, a big winner for me. <laughs> I'd probably maybe say four on the shrimp, I think. Four. 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 Would you say the same thing, Mom? Yep. Four? Okay. Dad, what would you rate your beef tips there? Yeah, or five. Five? Oh, wow. That's good. And what was it called again? It was the braised. It's the Jamaican braised beef. Jamaican. Pea rice and micro cilantro. Ooh, okay. So we got a five for that. Oh yeah, did we rate the taco? I don't think we did. I think that was a five. For me. It was a five, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to say five on the taco too. That was, like I said, my favorite variation. They always do each year some type of different form, even if it's like, for a couple years they were always doing a shrimp taco. But it was like every year it was like done kind of different. They would like mix something up about it. And so I always like seeing what they do different each year. And this one with the pork and then that apple chutney just made it. I thought it was so good. I always love these flower like trees that they do. They have them like lining all the way down leading into World Showcase. It's so pretty. And I just did like a real creative picture where it's like this and then Spaceship Earth in the background. Like this right here makes a perfect like screensaver. That's a really good shot. Oh my gosh, and look how pretty they did like these potted plants. It's another great backdrop for taking a picture. Oh, more creative photography going on. Oh yes, if you get like the geranium and then, oh, this is a good one, I like this. And of course, Mr. Figment. I like that they have him right here and you can get the picture with Spaceship Earth in the back. Yeah, that looks really cute. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. That is cute. This would be cute in the yard. The Figment and it looks like he's painting flowers. Oh, look at this mug, it's like a light bulb. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I might have to get this for my Disney Christmas tree. Because I love Figment and it's the flower and garden ornament. Oh yeah, it has the festival on the back. Oh, okay, I might need to get this. That has to come home with me. <laughs> we just took the cutest photo pass back there in front of Spaceship Earth and they had one of those, it was the first time we ever got to hold up one of those frames and this one was like specific to the flower and garden festival and it had the year it was so cute i love all the like anytime we see a photo pass we're like we have to stop and get a picture yes, because yes. yeah have memory made for that it is, makes it so worth it yes definitely worth it <laughs> Yeah, so with the annual pass, you get Memory Maker included. If you're just coming here on your vacation, I think it's like maybe a hundred and something dollars to add on Memory Maker for the duration of your stay. 100% it's worth it because, you know, make, take advantage of it. Stop and get all the pictures. I love the Memory Maker. My favorite fountain ever. Oh, it smells like Disney water. All right, we're gonna head into Starbucks. Our tip is we always come in here to hydrate. We like to come and get, they have the filtered water. Um, any walk up here in Disney, you can always stop and get a cup of ice water for free. But with Starbucks, it's actually filtered. So we like that about it. So we always come in here to grab a cup of water anytime we pass by. Okay, so this worked out perfect that we kind of like headed over this way because we realized that our fast pass that we have for living with the land is right now. So we're gonna go in. We haven't yet been in here this trip and we love living with the land. It's one of our favorite things to do in all of Epcot is come ride living with the land because it's just so relaxing and I just love the smells. I love seeing everything. Hello. Yeah, it just makes me so happy. So we're going inside now. You know what I just thought of? Why hasn't this become a wall yet? Like the the land mosaic wall. Like, is that a thing yet? That people do hashtag the land wall? Because I think we should. I think that'd be cool. <laughs> Disney fix for the day. For a world. 
when we did that before. Oh, they get to feed the fish. <laughs> Like that archway they did. What is that that they planted inside there? Oh, it looks like crystals. That's cute. Oh, look, they have like it's flowering the big Mickey. These plants. Oh, I love the smell right in here. All the fresh produce and flowers. It smells really good. And that little mixture of Disney water. <laughs> This is the chicken flatbread and where was the honey in it? I guess it's infused. Is it in the sauce that's on it? Wow. Desert Violet Lemonade. This is the first time I've ever gotten it and they still have the edible flowers. Mm -hmm. 